Hello guys, good morning. <laughs> it's like 7 a.m. right now, but hi, welcome to my channel. My name is Anna and today we're gonna do something I think that'll be really fun. So I have the um, Kingdom of the Wicked. I thought it was online, but I feel like an idea upon reading it, but I'm eating food like the characters from Kingdom of the Wicked, which is why I have things annotated because I wanna try some stuff out. So I figured I would try out for breakfast. I would try out a uh, corkscrew pasta with tomato pesto. Pesto, um, but I, I might change a few things about the tomato pesto, but it will still be kind of the same in a way, so. Yeah, and also, for lunch, what we're gonna have. And for lunch, we're gonna have something to do with butter. I am gonna take it the mushrooms because I hate mushrooms. <laughs> but it has something to do with the chicken and just like putting it in flour. I don't have marsala, it's like a wine, so I don't have that. But yeah, that's what's gonna be it. And we're gonna have like butter, so I'm guessing it's like a garlic butter chicken kind of thing so yeah that's gonna be really fun i'm excited so let's go down to the kitchen and start making stuff Putting in the milk and the flour, and then now I'll also be putting butter as well. So that's gonna be my sauce for my tomato pesto and all that fun stuff. So. You're gonna want salt and butter, and just have like a little bit of it. I'm not even need more than this. So something like that. And before you turn it on, I like to compare the other ingredients. Well, instead of milk, we're gonna put wine out in there. It's the same stuff, <laughs> but it would taste different. about in that much water and for my and this is the one I'm gonna be using for it so I'm just gonna roll it on the container heat. So, for the flour, you're just gonna add about this much of flour. Okay, and now you have to mix it. the bottom. Maybe you can add a little bit more flour to thicken it. So 
once the butter is fully melted, put in the water. Oh, and they added some other cases, put in milk. <laughs> and then you can add in your cheese. This is the cheese I'm using. And turn down the heat. About this much. You can add more, but I think this will be fine. I'm gonna add just a little bit more. And now you're just gonna melt it. Okay, so now this is where things going to be changing a little bit. I'll be adding ketchup. Because <laughs> uh, that's what I have. So, yeah, just add in that. I don't have much you like. And then when your macarons are done, you can serve it. And on top of the sauce, I'd like to add oregano. Beautiful. And the sauce is done. It will look pretty if I had milk, but it is how it is. <laughs> Okay, so after you drain the water, you can now add in the sauce. I have milk, but it still doesn't look bad, so yeah. And now you can serve. And I just like to sprinkle maybe a bit more of the oregano. And then, now let's go and pretend to be the bug, even though I've already read it. So it's kind of late now, it's about 4 almost, so we're going to prepare our food. So right now I have these two, two big braids. One of them is for like the flour and all that mixture, and the other one is going to be for the chicken that you're going to have. So for the flour, you need one fourth cup of flour. So, so about this much. Maybe I'm at low, but yeah. So then you're just going to have one teaspoon of garlic powder into the flour. About that much. And about half a teaspoon of black pepper. Actually just put your black pepper already in here. That's uh, about that much. I didn't want to put too much in, but yeah, it's easy if you just do it right in. <laughs> and now I'm just going to mix it and even things out. So now 
have it here chicken meat you're going to put one so you're going to put the chicken in the flour and then after that you're going to shake off the excess flour and put it on the plate so make sure you kind of have to press it and make sure you wash your hands after your meat okay as you see fit so that's not okay make sure you get everything so now you're just gonna put like one tablespoon of olive oil over medium heat so this is what I'll be using and if they can see that's what I'll be using, so yeah. You won't need too much oil because all the oil is going to be part of the um, button. So that being said, you're going to need one tablespoon of butter or just like one chunk of it. So you actually want to use unsalted butter because you can have control over the salt, which is what you want. Something like this, maybe add a little bit more if you would like to. Just a few more pieces and that should be good. In the meantime, you will need garlic. So about two cloves. And you just gotta mince them. So, yeah. I think it's almost ready. No, it's not. It's not almost ready. Okay, it should be ready now. Yeah, she is ready. I guess that's how much we're gonna put. And you know, just let them cook until golden brown. Okay, so then, once it gets golden brown, you're gonna add in the garlic. And just slide it in there. Like so. About one to two minutes has passed, and this is the chicken broth I'll be using. You only need a half a cup of it. I like to move the stuff away from the because it's gonna go off, so oh my. As I said, I don't like doing that. So now you're just going to let that cook and then you should leave it to remain in your 5 tablespoons of butter but I don't think I will. I'm just going to let it cook. Um, I might just add like one more of tablespoon of butter but yeah it really smells so nice in here. I wish you can smell it. And that's some garlic butter chicken. Ta -da! It only takes half an hour to make so not that hard. So yeah, I'm just gonna add maybe like a little bit of butter for that thing. And after that you can just season them with salt and black pepper. That's why you are using unsalted butter just so you can control the amount of salt guys. We already have a lot of salt in here, so 
less salty, the better. And then just use some kind of wooden spoon to help mix it all in. And voila! You have your garlic butter chicken. I actually added two more blocks of butter, so it's actually really nice. I really like it, but let's go get our book and now we'll eat. So let's go. Also, I forgot the salt, but oh well. <laughs> it's so good anyways. Okay guys, this was a fun video. I do have another one coming up, something similar, but this one we're going to eat tacos with my meal and Juliet. I think that was the name of the book. I'm not sure, but that is what, I'm sorry, there's a lot of colors all of a sudden, but that's what's going to come up next. So if you do have a book suggestion that has food in them, let me know because I'm really going to try this again. I had fun. So yeah, so otherwise if you like this, please like, comment, and subscribe so you'll be notified every time I post and I will see you on my next one. Bye!